Hey y'all, what's going on everybody? It is yours truly. I'm your sister, your friend, and empowerment life coach or just life coach, JC. And today, y'all, I have another special message for the ladies. Today is Women's Wednesday, y'all, and we release a word every single Wednesday unless the Lord give us further directions. And um, what we do is we pray and then we get into the message. And I will not be before y'all long. I want to thank the Holy Spirit and ask the spirit of the living God to just fall fresh on this word. I pray that the Lord will give you ears to hear what thus said the Lord. I pray that God will begin to open up your understanding, that the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened, that you will receive divine down, uh, download, input, revelation, insight. I pray that the Holy Spirit will come in and help me to give this message to you hot off the press. I thank you right now, God, for delivering delivering your daughters out of bondage, out of darkness. I thank you, God, for delivering your daughters out of everything the enemy tried to hold them in, weigh them down in. But you come like the savior that you are, like the mighty man of war that you are. And you pull your daughters out of every mire and you pull your daughters out of dark places. And I pray for my sister. I pray for you, woman of God, right now in the name of Jesus, that the Lord, the God of angel armies will begin to go before you and deliver you deliver you from your enemies that those enemies that you see today that the Lord will begin to deliver you so that you will not see these same enemies again it's some enemies that God never wants us to see again and I pray in the name of Jesus that you will walk into your freedom that you will be delivered from any strongholds any chains and you your soul will escape like a soul like your like a bird escaping out of a cage, like a bird escaping out of a prison cell, like a bird escaping out of a cage that it was confined to. But you are not a bird. But I declare and decree that your soul is escaping like a bird out of a cage in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare and decree that this is your season to rise up and take your rightful place in the earth, to fulfill your kingdom mandate, to fulfill your kingdom assignment, to walk in everything God has ordained for you to walk in and to do the work that God has ordained for you to do. You will not fail. You will prosper and you will eat and you will be in the land of the living. You will fulfill destiny. You will fulfill the kingdom mandate and assignment that God has released over your life. And you will see prosperity in the fruit of your labor in every area. I declare and decree it over your life in Jesus name. Let this be the season where you arise and you step and take your rightful place in the earth. So in Jesus name, amen. So without further ado, y'all, we're going to go ahead and get into the message. Let's get it in. So yeah, as you can clearly see in the title, sis, you have to be willing to do the work. I know that we live in a society, y'all, where everybody think that stuff is going to be handed to them or it's going to fall out the sky or it's just going to magically happen. God going to drop a blessing and everything in your life going to shift. God going to drop a blessing and everything in your life going to take off. God going to drop a blessing and then everything as you knew it is just going to change. But I came to let you know that life does not work that way, not even in the kingdom of God. It does not work that way. God has a way to get in us to what he has promised us and it will require you to get a little sweaty and it will require you to get a little dirty and in order for you to get off that blow up mattress in order for you to get off that hard floor in order for you to get up and live again, get up and dream again, get up and believe again. In order for you to stop the bad cycles of going through defeat after defeat, being sick in your body without no healing, without no signs of being healed and restored, being um, going through just uh, so many breakups in your relationships, having bad picks in men, having bad picks in even your friend girl relationships. God is ready to deliver you from all of that. Just going in cycles and feeling defeated and not being able to keep a job, not being able to hold a job, that not being able to walk fully into your purpose thing. It's time for that season to end in your life because God has so much more. And I want you to put this in the comment section and say greater is here. Okay, greater is here. 
God has so much more in store for you. If you still breathing and you got air in your lungs, it's a guarantee that God has so much in store still for you. That's why you didn't die in that situation. That's why the divorce didn't make you lose your mind. That's why after you tried to take the pills and you tried to run into the wall to end your life, you tried to do all of these things to destroy yourself, commit suicide, but none of it prospered. And all the things that you endured, being molested didn't prosper, being going through molestation, going through incest with people touching you and your family you dealing with uh trouble after trouble trial after trial your money always funny in a strange place but god is getting ready to do a new thing in you and you have to be willing to do the work i need somebody who's willing, got a made up mind to say, I know that it's going to cost me my past. I know that it's going to cost me the old version of me. I know it's going to cost me to have to give up the way I was thinking, the way I was believing, the way I was moving, the way I was uh, shifting in my life. It's going to have to cause me to give up some old relationships and some dead things. But guess what? It was dead for a purpose in the first place. It wasn't working for my good. It wasn't working it wasn't working. It don't work for you until you literally answer the call. Okay. But right now, everything that's happening in your life that's causing you to feel stuck and stagnant, that thing is working against you until you till you fully surrender and ask the call on your life, stuff will still work against you. Stuff will try to hinder you and block you from moving forward. But I came here today to let you know that God said it's time to do the work. You got to be willing to put in the work. You got to be willing to put your head down and get in your and, and, and get in Christ and put in the work. Time for you to get off the social media. Cut that off for a little bit. Cut the TV off for a little bit. Cut the games off. Stop texting people for a little bit. Pull out. And you know how they say reinvent yourself? It's time to see some reinvention. But you're not going to reinvent you. God is going to do a new thing on the inside of you. And you're going to come out on the other side reinvented. And so the person that God has already ordained you to be, the person God has called you to be, the generational curse breaker, the chosen one, the woman of faith, the Esther of your generation, the Joshua of your generation, you are a deliverer in your bloodline. Some of y'all are deliverers in your bloodline and God wants to use you. But first, God want to know, will you be willing and obedient? Will you be willing to go through the process to become a new person? Will you be willing to change the former man for the new man? Will you be willing to allow your mind to be transformed through my word? Will you be willing to let go of what you thought life should be in order to attain what I really have for you? Come on now. Will you be willing to trade in the old garments for the new garments I have for you in the spirit? Will you be willing to let go of old familiar things and habits so that you can pick up new things and new habits and and, and experiencing new places that I have for you in the spirit and in the natural. But in order for you to acquire anything new, it's going to require your dedication. It's going to require your commitment. It's going to require you being disciplined. This new version of you, in order for you to walk in her, it's going to require you to live a whole totally different life. Your mindset got to shift. Your habits got to shift. The way you view people got to shift. God got to heal your mind. He got to heal your your heart. He got to heal your spirit. He got to heal your soul from past trauma and past pain and past mistakes. And when people fumbled the ball on you, when people broke your heart, God got to go in and do spiritual surgery so he can uproot everything that is not going to serve you on the next level. Everything that's not going to serve you where you're going. God got to trade in the old man for the new man. He got to get the old garments off you so you can step into the new garment and step into your new position. As, and, 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 and take your rightful seat in the kingdom of God. See, God got to do a new thing. And in order for him to do a new thing, you got to surrender. You got to be willing to do the work that it takes to go through the process to becoming a new person. 
And a lot of times we don't want to do that. We don't want to do the work it takes to become a new person. We want stuff to be handed to us and given to us on a silver platter. But that is not the way that God have made it to be. That is not the way that God designed it to be. So if you are ready to get your transformation, if you're ready to step into your purpose, if you're ready to break generational curses, if you're ready to fulfill destiny, then I want you to meet me in the new sisterhood. We launch in January. And you want to go ahead and register now. Go ahead and get in the room. Go ahead and sign up now. Don't wait. Don't procrastinate. If you know that you are ready to fulfill purpose and you feel led by God to sign up for this sisterhood. I know that a lot of y'all have been just waiting to see when will be the perfect time to sign up. And I want to tell you the time is now. So you want to look in the description box below. Click the link to go ahead and sign up. I will release the uh, information to you all very soon. I changed one thing and that one thing was I turned all those memberships into one monthly uh, fee for everybody. It's only $47 a month. When you come in, you will get so much training. You will get accountability. You will know how to step into your purpose, how to discover your gifts, how to heal from your past, how to uh, love yourself, go on a self-love journey, build your confidence in God, but build your confidence, self-confidence as well. You will have accountability partners, other sisters in Christ who are walking on the same journey as you trying to do the same thing you're doing. And so if that's something you're interested in, if you want discounts and rate on rates and future events and all of the things that we have coming up, sis, then I want to invite you to the Pink Society Elite Sisterhood where we grow and we glean and we go higher in Christ together as sisters and even friends. So if that's you, click the link in the description box below. I love y'all and I will see y'all on the other side. Have a beautiful and amazing rest of your day. And remember, sis, it's time to put in that work. God have a lot in store for you, but he want to know, will you allow him to transform you? Will you take, will you allow him to take you through this process so you can become a different person? So your story won't be no longer, woe is me, but so that your story, he can change your story to woe is me, having a victim mentality to a victor mentality. And it's all done in Christ. Listen, I love you. I'm rooting for you. And at the end of the day, you're my sister in Christ and I want to see you win. So I'll see you later. Don't forget to click the link in the description box below. Sign up. You get one month free. And then after that, it's $47. I will see you in the group. God bless you.